peak season just passed, but hurricane season isn't over just yet. 22 News Storm Team meteorologist Alexa Bianco has the latest on tropical activity. Thanks, Brian. Conditions have been quiet, Lily, but that's not the case anymore. Based on certain weather, such as increased wind shear, dry air, and especially dry Saharan dust from Africa, we've had a break when it comes to tropical activity in the Atlantic, but now conditions are ramping up again. There was a, apparently a lot of dry air over the tropical Atlantic that cut down activity. There was also a lot of wind shear, which is a change of wind direction with height that kind of works against anything forming. Now we're starting to see the dry air retreat. The wind's starting to weaken a little bit, and we still have a lot of warm waters. So I would say, you know, two to three weeks, we'll see an uptick in activity again. And even though peak season just passed, that doesn't mean we're in the clear. As storms go all the way into October, we're already tracking two storms developing in the Atlantic. The storm meteorologists have their eyes on is the first system that's quickly developing and could be Tropical Storm Gabrielle soon, which has a 90% chance of forming into a tropical system in the next 48 hours and seven days, moving west northwestward. This system has a similar path to Erin, but whether that storm drives up the east coast again is too early to predict. The second system not drawing too much attention yet is off the coast of western Africa, is producing showers and thunderstorms and has a 20% chance of forming in the next seven days. Remember, you know, in the past, we've had some notable storms in October as well, most notably Sandy um, back in 2012. I would advise people still pay attention, you know, keep an eye on the tropics. We've got a, still a long way to go here before we get to the end of the season. Make sure to always be prepared in case of a hurricane because Massachusetts is not immune to the rain or flooding. And with temperatures remaining warm heading into the fall, many people are still having late season beach days. With no lifeguard on duty, it's important to be mindful of the water and rip currents. Of course, the 22 Storm Team will keep you updated on the latest tropical developments. Working for you, 22 Storm Team Meteorologist Alexa Bianco.